Ah! Oh, hey, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Hey, you guys look great. Want some candy? Here you go. Happy Halloween to you. For our mission of thought for this October edition of the Jesus Central Vlog, we're going to talk about masks. Now this was my son's mask from a few Halloweens ago. But you know, masks are more than about Halloween and trick-or-treat this time of year. They also have to do with Luther's doctrine of vocation. You know, in just a few short days, we're going to be celebrating the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. And there are three great teachings that came out of the Reformation. Luther's justification by grace or faith the authority of the Word of God, and his doctrine of vocation. Yet sadly, the doctrine of vocation has lost so much meaning that we simply think about it being about our work. But for Luther, it was so much more than that. It was about us living out our calling in Christ by grace or faith in all of our callings of life, or as Luther called them, stations. Whether it's our calling in the church, to our family, in our workplace, or in society, being a good citizen of the nation that we live in, or a good citizen of our community. And for Luther, these callings of life were all about loving and serving our neighbor. And yet though, it is so much more than even that. That is not just about us loving and serving our neighbor in our different stations of life that day, but it's also about God working in a hidden way through us, like masks. One way that Luther talked about that was when he talked about the Lord's Prayer, and especially the petition of, give us this day our daily bread. That Luther said that God brings his common grace, his provision and care to the world in a hidden way, whether it's through the farmer who is planting a seed, or it's a baker who bakes bread, or somebody at a grocery store who sells you that bread, or moms and dad making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that all the way through, it's not just what we do to love and serve our neighbor, but it's what God does to bring his common grace to the world. But through the eyes of faith, we see that there's something even more going on, and especially related to our I neighborhood. That as we love and serve our neighbor and God works in a hidden way, that Jesus also works not just to bring the common grace of God to the world, but also to bring his saving grace. That when we live out our calling in, in life and we love and serve our neighbor, that it's an also an opportunity that we can tell the saving news of Jesus, that good news of all that he has done for us, that that's for them as well. And that Jesus also works for us in a hidden way like a mask as well. You know, we are called the body of Christ. That in a very real way that we are the presence of Jesus in the world today. His feet that go, his hands that reach, his voice that speaks. Luther talked about it this way. He said, we become Jesus to another person when we love and serve them. And whenever we do, it gives us an opportunity to share that good news of Jesus, that he loves them too, that he died for them, and that his life and salvation is also for them as well. And so as we get ready for Halloween, let us remember that it's not just about trick-or-treating, but that each and every day we are called to love and serve our neighbor. And in that opportunity, that God works in a hidden way through us to share his saving love for the world. I want to thank you for joining me for this October edition of the Jesus Central Vlog. And a real quick witness idea I want to leave for you for Halloween is when those kids come trick-or-treating at your door, instead of giving them a small piece of candy, give them a big old candy bar. Their eyes are going to light it up. And a way that you can share Jesus' love with them is put a sticker on the back that says, Jesus' love is sweet or Jesus loves you. It'll be an easy witness when those kids are coming to you and you have an opportunity to love and serve them. And as we do and we see kids in Mass, let us remember that each and every day, we are the Mass of God to share His common grace and also His saving grace. And as always, remember to keep Jesus central.